Welcome to Fagor, state-of-the-art cookware at its finest. Hello, I'm Patricio Barriga, president of Fagor America. Today we're at the New York Restaurant School with chefs Tony Donofrio and Brendan Keenan. They will demonstrate for us how fast, easy, and healthy it is to prepare gourmet meals in your Fagor pressure cooker. I will leave it up to you guys. Brendan, I brought in an old pressure cooker that I had. This is about 40 years old. And you can see the difference. Uh, this old pressure cooker is made just from aluminum, whereas the new ones are made from 1810 stainless steel with an aluminum core. That gives me versatility on the outside, no rusting, no warping, and even heating throughout the middle. And another wonderful feature about the modern pressure cookers is the safety features. We have three different safety systems built into the lid on the Fagor America pressure cooker. Fagor is one of Europe's leading manufacturers of fine cookware. Today, we'll sit in as master chefs Tony D'Onofrio and Brendan Keenan of the New York Restaurant School cook an entire six-course meal using Fagor's fine line of pressure cookers. I have some ingredients here for a beautiful chicken stew. And I have ingredients here for a lobster risotto with a saffron infusion. I know that you're anxious to get cooking, but there's a few things that we need to check before we start. It's very important that you check the gasket. It should be pliable and it should have no cracks or tears and you keep it pliable by rubbing it with oil during your storage. Another thing that's very important to check is your lid and your pressure valves. Make sure that they are free from all the food particles. Remember, every Fagor pressure cooker comes with three levels of protection. I'm gonna start the chicken stew recipe by putting a little bit of oil in the pan and then adding my pieces of chicken. In order to extract a lot of flavor, we want to make sure that we get nice browning on the chicken. So we're going to put all our pieces in, a little bit of salt. I like to use black pepper, but you can use white if you want. Alrighty, so we're going to let that sizzle for a while before we add in the onions and get them caramelized also. Now you're going to turn that chicken over and brown it on all sides? Once I have nice browning on the bottom, then I'm going to turn it over. That's the nice thing about the Fagor pot. I can brown and cook one pot all together, so we're all set. We don't have to brown in one pan and then put it in a pressure cooker. It has a nice even cooking to it, so we can do everything right in one pot. We really can use it for a number of different recipes. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we have some attachments later that we're going to look at that we can use for non-pressure items also, like pasta. Fagor pressure cookers are as versatile as your imagination. Use them for soups, stews, vegetables, rice, chicken, fish, meats, and desserts. It's got nice brown color, so we're just going to give it a little turn. Make sure that you brown both sides. You want it nice and even. The nice thing about the Fagor pot is it's got an aluminum insert, which gives you a much more even heating, and that's why you can brown and uh, cook the product at a much more even level. Absolutely. I'm going to add in a little bit of onion and the same thing. Nice browning process. We want to get all the flavor out of the onion. I'm not going to add in the garlic yet, though. We don't want the garlic to burn. Garlic has a high sugar content. I'm going to add in the onion and let that go. Now I'm going to add in some nice small diced carrot and some potatoes. Potatoes are going to add a little bit of thickness to the stew. Carrots, good for color and, of course, nutritional value. A little bit of the garlic we spoke about before. And, of course, a handful of peanuts. I'm going to give this just a little bit of a stir. Mix around all the ingredients. So we get even cooking, good flavor throughout the stew. I'm going to add in my liquid. It's very important that you always use liquid when you use pressure cooker. That's how the pressure builds up. Are you done? Well, the last thing I have to do is put on the lid. Even that's easy. See this little mark right here? I just put it on, line it up, close it, and lock it. Remember, many Fagor models feature two pressure settings. Number one, low, for delicate foods, and number two, high, for rapid cooking. A lot of people are intimidated by risotto because it does take up to 45 minutes to cook that's true. on a regular stove. In the pressure cooker, it takes only seven minutes. So we start off with a little butter, in our pan. Uh, and here we're going to take a little diced onion also and sweat that. And sweating is a little delicate cooking. We're not going to generate any color on this. We're just going to make it soft and translucent. 
While we do that, we're going to um, take our risotto rice. Now, this is a short grain rice from Italy, which is perfect for risotto. We're going to add that in, and we're going to stir that around so the rice gets a little coating of the butter, so that prevents it from getting too sticky, although risotto is a sticky kind of dish. We're then going to add a little white wine, and that will add a little bit of flavor. Now, the wine is optional. You don't have to ha add wine if you don't want to. We're going to add a little diced tomato, which will give it a little flavor as well as a little bit of color. And that's going to cook for a few seconds. And then we're going to add our chicken broth, which I've infused with a few strands of saffron, which will give it a wonderful fragrance and a wonderful color. Ah, oh, that looks terrific. Then. So a little salt and a little pepper. One more stir. And then on goes my lid. I'm going to match the line up with the handle like we did before. It's going to close, lock, and now we're waiting for our steam to build up. In fact, mine's just come up to pressure. You can see the little indicator right here, just come up. This is when I start my timing. Don't start the timing from cooking, start the timing with, from when the pressure indicator comes up. Once the pressure indicator comes up, I'm going to turn the gas down. If I was using an electric stove, I would start on medium heat. Here, because we're using gas, I started on high heat. We know that the cooker is coming up to pressure because the steam is starting to release from the valve here and our, my indicator button has risen. And now this is when I'm going to time my cooking. Seven minutes from now, I'm going to have a wonderful risotto. And just as another point on that safety features, I can't open the lid. This is safe. We cannot open the lid while the cooker is under pressure. Remember you can cook all of your favorite recipes in one-third of the time. A recipe that would normally take you 30 minutes will now take only 10 minutes in your Frego pressure cooker. While the chicken stew is cooking and I'm waiting for it to finish, I'm going to start by making some steamed vegetables. Steamed vegetables, high nutritional value, lots of color and lots of flavor. They go very, very quickly in the pressure cooker. And we have some beautiful assorted vegetables here that we can use. Steaming retains a lot of the nutritional value. It also is going to help keep the colors vibrant and keep the flavors natural and true. Here's the water you need. Oh, thanks, Brendan. Two, two cups, I think, is enough. Right. We don't need very much water when we use pressure cooker, but we always need to use some sort of liquid. Okay, so I'm going to put my steaming basket in. Again, I'm going to line up the marks right on the pot, close it, lock it, and bring it up to pressure. I'm going to wait for the pressure indicator to come up, and that's when I'm going to start the timing. It's only going to be a very quick four minutes. At the same time here, I see time-wise that chicken stew is done. Turn off the gas. Turn the valve. This is the automatic release method. This method sometimes takes a few minutes, so we want to make sure that we give it enough time. And my risotto is now ready for also an automatic release. I'm going to turn off my gas. In order to release the steam, I'm going to need to turn it to the steam release, which is labeled here on the handle. And I'm going to finish my risotto. Once the pressure comes down, I've got a little butter, a little cheese, and my cooked lobster, which I also cooked in the pressure cooker, and it's steamed in seven minutes. Seven minutes to cook a lobster. Now, that is really fast, and it's perfectly moist and tender and very juicy.